I knew that jackfruit was too good to be true. <laughs> Why is it so hard to find canned jackfruit? Jesus Christ. It has been quite the day already, but I figured what better way to salvage the day than to make some delicious vegan apps and pretend to care about football. I am certainly not a football fan, and uh, neither is Paul. He wanted to watch the Super Bowl this year because of the Tom Brady of it all, and I enjoy any opportunity to make a bunch of delicious vegan junk food and enjoy it. So for me, when I get an opportunity to just kind of feel like a normal member of society, sometimes that feels really nice. Not to mention, I also very much enjoy the type of food that is considered kind of like a football fare. The vegan versions of these things are much healthier than the non-vegan versions. I don't even really feel like I'm eating like junk food. I just feel like I'm eating like delicious food that like is also kind of healthy. We ran into a really big obstacle moments before I started filming. I had this grand idea that I would make chili, nachos, and buffalo jackfruit wings. I had made these jackfruit wings once before. I saw a video on Edgy Veg where she made these and she had been inspired by two other vegan YouTube channels, but she kind of made them her own. So I watched her video and then I kind of made my own. They came out so well and so delicious. I wanted to repeat that for today. And that was the thing that I was the most excited about making. Spent the last few days like making sure I had all the ingredients. There's a huge snowstorm today. I made sure I was prepared. And then moments ago, we had a devastating realization. Oh no. No. It's ripe jackfruit. It's sweet. Fucking Whole Foods. Or you can just make <laughs> Why is it so hard to find canned jackfruit? Jesus Christ. So the last time I had made the jackfruit wings, I got the canned jackfruit from Trader Joe's. The issue with that was that whatever it was sort of in in the can, it had this kind of like briny sort of vinegary flavor to it. And so the jackfruit ended up having a little bit of this like vinegary thing. I was like, this time I want to just get like, I want to find jackfruit that like doesn't have any, that's just like in water. I remember from the past Whole Foods not selling jackfruit. Jackfruit is a very hot commodity, I feel like, and why wouldn't Whole Foods sell it in a can? Because they suck, that's why. Anyway, so we went back there, looked for jackfruit, of course didn't find it. So before I left, I was like, let me just check with customer service and see. So the woman was like, I don't think we have it. And then she's like, actually, we might have it in like the fridge or freezer section. So she comes out of the freezer section with this. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's 100% jackfruit, bite-sized pieces. It was in the section where all the like smoothie fruit is. So I was like, that's weird, but I guess it's just like, they just sell it as like a thing you can add to your smoothie because it's healthy, whatever. So I bought this and you know, I took it out of the freezer today and was uh, ready to use it for my video. And I didn't know that jackfruit had like different forms. I didn't know that the kind I bought in the can was like green jackfruit and we're in the middle of a snowstorm and there's nothing I can do about it. Luckily, when we were at Whole Foods, Paul bought a head of cauliflower. And so I'm going to try to salvage this somehow by doing cauliflower wings instead of jackfruit wings. How I did the jackfruit, and if you've seen the Edgy Veggies video, you will see this, um, is they, basically they cook the jackfruit, season it, season it, all that stuff. And then they wrap it up in like a rice paper wrap that you would wrap uh, like a, like a uh, vegetable like summer roll or spring roll in. I still want to do that method because I like the effect that that rice paper wrap gives it. It gets like crispy on the outside, it feels more like skin. So I'm going to basically cut the cauliflower up like really small, almost maybe into like a rice type of thing, and then cook it and do all the same things to it that I did with the jackfruit and just like hope that it sticks together and hope that it works. I love the jackfruit texture. It's, it's so like chicken-like to me, but unfortunately we're just not gonna have that today. Thankfully the chili will be very simple. I'm just gonna kind of throw it all in here and let it just cook for a long time. And then the for the nachos, I'm going to be making this butternut queso, which I've made once before and it is very, delicious from the curious chickpea so we're gonna have our nachos we're gonna have our chili and we're gonna have our wings and we'll just see how it goes green pepper 
onion, saute it with maybe some spices, some garlic, uh, and then add in my beans. I have this three bean trio, a bunch of diced tomatoes, which I'll probably just do like half this can, and we're just gonna let it simmer for a long time. I knew that jackfruit was too good to be true. You know? Yeah, right. One thing you can count on with Whole Foods is that you'll always be disappointed by them. I just can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. Daisy, what are you doing, honey? It's only 4.18 and the Super Bowl starts at 6.30. Now you can't see again. Thank you, Maisie. Oh, it smells so good already. I mean, who knows? Maybe this jackfruit disaster will, will turn out better than I could have imagined because maybe these cauliflower wings are going to be amazing. So we want to warm the spices a little bit. Putting some of these tomatoes in. Huge butternut squash that we found at the store. So we have to peel. really relaxing actually. Turns out putting my fingers in here gave me like really good leverage. Hot tip. Now I'm gonna cut it and de-seed it. Cutting it into cubes. So I've got my onion and garlic prepped for the queso and um, I'm gonna start making that now. Put these in with the butter squash. When you realize that the basis for most cooking is just onions and garlic. And then some jalapenos, not too many. So now I'm adding in the cashews and the butternut squash. It's so hard to say how much cauliflower to use, but we're just really winging this whole thing. No pun intended. Again, I feel like you really can't see what I'm doing, but I am just chopping up my cauliflower pieces, stirring in the spices, and now the water. One tablespoon of miso. Thanks, Bambi. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Daisy, what are you doing? What'd you think of all this? <clears throat> Continue working on the cauliflower. I have my water in here. Turn the stove back on, and then I'm adding in the better than bouillon chicken base. No chicken, chicken base. Vegan chicken base, which I don't know if you guys have had this, but it's so good. It tastes just like chicken stock to me. I don't know how they do it. Very, very low, but thankfully don't need much. And I tried to get more at Whole Foods, but they didn't. Imagine if I just used like the fruity jackfruit. It was like, fuck it, I'm just using this anyway. What I would add is poultry seasoning if I had it, but I don't, couldn't find it at Whole Foods either. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So last time I added this, which is the Bragg's Organic Sprinkle 24 Herbs and Spices Seasoning. I used it in the wings last time and like just adds a little extra flavor and let it just steam, cook. I'm gonna just get my rice paper wraps out. I want the cauliflower to get kind of soft and most of the liquid to be absorbed or evaporated. And then I'm gonna add in the tapioca starch because we want it to just be like solid enough that we can put it in the wraps and have it like hold some sort of shape. We'll be back in a little bit. Some updates. I made a quick sour cream, easiest, fastest shortcut. Basically it's just vegan mayo. So I used veganaise and um, a little bit of lime. Sometimes I use lemon. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of tapioca flour into my cauliflower. Let me take a video of this so you can see how it looks. So there is quite a bit of liquid still in there. I poured a little bit out. Hopefully there's enough that's evaporated. The cauliflower has gotten pretty soft. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon in. Add in a little bit more tapioca starch. Another thing I forgot is that I wanted to make a ranch. The ranch, the sour cream, you could do them with tofu or cashews, but just as a super lazy, quick, easy hack to these things, vegan mayo works really well. I think I originally learned this recipe from a purple carrot recipe card. It's so simple. So I've got my vegan mayo, gonna put a little garlic powder, some dill, a little salt, a little pepper, and then we're just gonna put some water in to thin it out. A little more mayo, too much water. Definitely should have started with less water. So I'm turning it off now. It's getting a little bit thicker, but I also just 
it has to cool down too for a little while. But I am gonna put a tiny bit of sorghum flour in here. So this is a gluten-free flour that I used last time and I think it'll just be good to like thicken it up a little bit, maybe help with the texture a little. Yeah, I think that's what I remember last time too with the jackfruit. I remember thinking, I gotta do less liquid left next time. And then I totally forgot. I also put together a little thing of Frank's hot sauce mixed with a tiny bit of maple syrup. I think the syrup just like balances out the vinegar and the heat really nicely. We ran into another issue. Apparently we couldn't watch the Super Bowl, how we were planning to, through my parents' cable account, obviously. That wasn't working. They like blocked people from doing that. So we somehow got it through like the NFL website or something, I don't know. I'm ready to wrap my cauliflower wings. We're gonna see how it goes, but I don't have a ton of faith. I think the batter, it's just way too wet, but um, basically dipping my rice paper wrap into the water and then I'm taking it out, immediately cutting it in half. I don't remember why she cut it in half, but. So I'm gonna put a little scoop of this and just wrapping it, it's not good. It's like way too loose. I've decided that I need to wait until this whole mixture cools down like completely. That chili looks pretty good. I'm gonna get the um, queso finished so that we can have our nachos and our chili. I wonder if there's enough liquid in here. Ten hours later. And I'm gonna put it back in here just to thicken it up a little bit. I just wanna like eat the nachos, eat the chili, have a beer, and then go back to the wings <laughs> once I have some food in me. sour cream shit here it is with the sour cream <laughs> not very pretty let's try it with the sour cream mm. this literally reminds me of like something you would get at a stadium so good all right time to eat and then we'll see about those buffalo wings holy shit what I'm doing is I'm getting these wet, then I'm putting the stuff in the middle, kind of waiting for these to soften a little, and then I'm kind of just closing them up almost like a, I don't know, like a dumpling or something. Then once it's kind of gathered up like this, I'm dropping it in the hot sauce and just kind of using this brush to sort of brush it with some hot sauce and then putting it on here. So I've got this whole little thing of these little very funny looking not at all what i had planned i'm gonna put it in the air fryer now and hope for the best hope they come out a little crispy so the buffalo bites are done interesting things happened in the um in the air fryer some things involving um many of the bites exploding from the bottom here are my buffalo wings <laughs> Okay, well, I'm just gonna put a little extra buffalo sauce. I mean, the nachos were really good, so we'll always have that. I don't even know how I can like eat this. Like, put a little ranch on there. Let me try it. Not terrible, but not great. The buffalo sauce and the ranch, those flavors really can like help out a lot. This video was a total hot mess. I promise that I'll do another one where I actually make the jackfruit wings. Hopefully you'll trust me this time that they'll come out better than these did. I'm gonna enjoy what I can of these and watch the halftime show and that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you soon. Bye.